to the Mara. The vultures have stopped feeding and uh, the hippo carcass is looking quite lonely and well of course it's it's a permanently retired hippopotamus now uh, definitely not making any more forays up the hill we suspect it could be the hippopotamus that stays in our, our, our dam that we get water from and it is quite a morbid sight so we're not going to stay here too long especially since there are no vultures and hyenas oh black sawwing you see it there oh he went off it's a black sawwing swallow to challenge Dave's and it's gone. <laughs> well, we nearly got a black sawing swallow. Um, here we go. Here's the last of the vulture. Oh, maybe this vulture might take the chance to come scamper in for a meal. Now, remember, hashtag Safari Live if you want any questions for us. And that is on Twitter. I would love to hear from you, from the magnificence of the Mara. I'm going to try and use as many M words today to describe the Maasai Mara, so we can have a bit of fun with that. If you've got any nice little combinations, the majestic, magical Mara, the mystical, magnificent, um, running out here. Marvellous. Marvellous. Thank you, Jamie. Uh, Marvellous Mara. So if you guys can come up with any fun ones, uh, it would be great to hear from you and just use the hashtag Safari Live on that. And um, we'll, I think we should actually have a competition. Let's, let's have a competition. So um, send those tweets through. I'll get FC to send them on to me. And we will, uh, Jamie, myself, a dangerous Dave, we'll, we'll have a look there and we will read out a couple of the best ones at the end of the drive. I think that could be lots of fun. Yay! A game. I like games. And of course, we're going to try to see if we can find some lions. Uh, might take a little meander down towards the Kichwe Tembo Crossing. And at the Kichwe Tembo Crossing and along the Mara River, see if we can find the big crocodile that resides there. And also, it's a very good area for leopard. Now, we haven't had a live leopard sighting yet, so maybe we can remedy that on this gorgeous evening here in the Maasai Mara. Oh, I forgot. Sorry. The marvelous Maasai Mara. Bobby is wondering, do I think the park people will remove the dead hippo from the dam? This is not a dam, Bobby. Um, this is not a man-made structure. This is actually a natural seep. So the water comes down from the escarpment that you're going to see behind me shortly. So it rains up there, and then it comes down through the grasslands, and you've got a, dupe, they are a type of duplex soil here. So what, what happens is you've got this uh, volcanic ash layer, and that's the nutrient-rich area that the grass is like. And below that, it's on some of the oldest volcanic rocks in Africa and of course the water can't get through that rock so what happens is uh, that that water will then travel along the boundary between the, the ash and the rock and where there is a chance and just go up here there we go Davy. I'm gonna duck I'll duck for you there we go um, it was a chance uh, there's a, a natural seep and the water will make its way through and then run down eventually this will form get goes into a bigger river system which we call a lugger here which is like a dongo or a drainage line and then eventually into the Mara River itself and uh, we must remember this is a very high rainfall area and compared to the Sabi sand so there's a lot of these so the park rangers will not leave this uh, will not move this at all the hippo uh, will stay there so the hyenas and the vultures and the lions, hopefully. I'm hoping the lions come tonight. Oh, and the tawny eagles. There's a tawny eagle. Um, I saw that tawny eagle a little bit earlier. It has got the fullest crop. It has literally gorged itself on hippo uh, when it gets the chance between the vultures and the hyenas. So uh, it is natural for, for an animal to die like this. I think the hyenas actually chased it uh, probably into this wallow and it, it, it fought its last fight here. And, and that's just judging. Well, we can't really see that now, but from this morning when we first arrived, uh, just from the tracks all around the area. So Laura said, so they killed it in the pond. I think they did the damage to the hippo outside of the pond. And I think the hippo's last resort uh, is always to go to water. And this was the only water left. And uh, just from the tracks we saw earlier this morning, they've been obliterated by vultures and hyenas. Now, uh, that looks like what played out. And that's also, and obviously I'm, I'm piecing together like a detective here, because I'm just judging from the, 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 the noise, the incredible sounds I could hear coming from down here of these hyenas fighting with that hippo last night. 
Okay, well, we are going to try see where we're going to go next. I think let's go to the north uh, towards the Mara River, see if we can maybe find a spotty friend, and uh, who knows what else.